welcome back today i'm gonna try to recreate um technique that i've seen on one of the channels on youtube i don't remember exactly the name but uh, next time when i'm gonna do this i'll let you know i think it's the most wonderful technique so i've seen she's just pouring some clear resin in the mold I'm not going to fill it up. So, and I will keep some for the white pigment paste, not much, because I always end up having so much. Pop these bubbles. I'm going to use the alcohol ink from Limino, and I have chosen these colors. And I'm gonna add a little bit from each one of these crash glass so that it match all these alcohol ink colors. Just a little bit in the center. Also from this one, I'm going to choose some. All right, that should be enough. So all this crash glass that I have is from Temu. And I think I have all the colors. <laughs> I should make myself a mix from all these colors. And now let's add some colors. I'm just gonna add randomly. Oops, it's spitting. Let's see, like one drop of each, how it's gonna look like. But yes, for sure, I need to add more, so. I think that should be enough. I'm going to let it spread now, like just 3-4 seconds, and I will mix it, just mix like this. Oops. And now let's prepare the white pigment paste. Pigment paste is ready, but it's not warm enough, so I will let it sit for 7 minutes more. In the meantime, I would like to add some more alcohol ink. It looks like it's fading. And this time I'm gonna add some alcohol ink from Cheap Art. I just hope I'm not going to ruin this. <laughs> it says it's hot pink, but it actually looks red for me. <laughs> mm, what else? Let's add violet. I just add it on top of this. <laughs> it looks like two eyes now. I'm not gonna spread it, I'll leave it like this. So let's just wait for white pigment paste to get a little bit warm. So let's 
so let's see it looks like a completely mess oh my gosh i dropped the plastic from the piping bag here uh, okay the pigment paste is still not ready and i'm afraid that if i wait more it's gonna be too late But let's try. So I've seen that she's creating little swirls just like this everywhere. Like, oh my gosh, it looks like a blob problem <laughs> for me. I don't know how she did it. Okay. I cannot even do one good. <laughs> okay, this one looks like should be okay. So I'm just doing these little flowers, let's call them flowers everywhere. I used to draw these kind of flowers when I was a child. I thought that roses look like this. There's one thing that I don't like, it's how the alcohol ink spread it. It looks kind of dirty. Oh, <laughs> this is a completely mess now. Should I do one in the center? Yeah, I'll do one as well. If I started a mess, I need to finish it. <laughs> That's it. But I cannot leave it like this. I can see like so many mistakes and these blobs. I don't know, I'm just gonna try to spread it a little bit. But I can't. It's not working. Yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna leave it like this and hope for the best. So now it's time to add the second layer. And tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but I see, which is very weird, I see here two eyes. Look one here this is one eye the other eye this kind of a nose and this like an open mouth like screaming on the side this is so creepy <laughs> right can you see it too <laughs> so i have mixed already 
I just made a new coaster and I don't have space on the table. But I will show you. I mixed this Haxons black pigment paste. Oh, okay, so I just ran out of space on my phone and um, it got turned off. So I hope you guys heard what I said before about his face. I'm just gonna pour, I mixed already. I'm pouring it like this, but later on I will um, put it in another place, on another table. Just covering it with this black pigment paste. And now I'm so excited to remove this from the mold. Let's see. Oh, it's coming out so easily. Okay, are you ready? <sighs> One, two, three. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Look at these little flowers. <laughs> oh my gosh. They are so cute. This is such a nice technique. I really like it. Like look, each one of them, it looks like it's not a petal, but a flower. So it's like a bouquet with so many flowers. And I'm sure I can do like even more. Like I can place more like this. And yes, it's a little bit with blobs, but I don't mind. Crushed glass as always, I didn't place it in the center. But it looks so cute. So yes, this is it. Definitely I'm gonna do again with this technique. I really like it. And thank you so much for watching my video. See you next time. Bye.